Well, at the moment, it's, uh, we're going to get them sort of uh, roused, right? Because obviously they may have, some of them have had a good night's sleep, some of them have had a pretty indifferent night's sleep, I would guess. Well, wakey, 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 how are we in there? So well, the reason why we're here at the moment in, in Ogmore by the sea, delightful and freezing cold, freezing cold whales, is that uh, we're doing uh, some of the training here for the uh, Wooden Spoon Arctic Rugby Challenge. Uh, so yesterday was sled pools traversing a river, a river, a little bit of sort of GPS navigation or whatever. So it'd be much, a, a bit more of the same today. Uh, I think there's a few more sore body, bodies this morning. It's going to be interesting. It's all morale boosting, team building stuff. And just remember, just, you just turn this on very slightly. You hear a hiss, liquid will appear, and then you can you can start the whole thing going, right? And we spent the night obviously under canvas all together, uh, preparing a little bit for what, what we've committed to, which is to go to the North Pole. And this is the biggest challenge we've ever gone after uh, with a wooden spoon. So it's really important we're trying to raise at least £300,000 for uh, projects throughout the UK and Ireland. The most northern game of uh, rugby ever. Sounds good. Um, being part of any world record must be fantastic. So um, I'm not part of any to, uh, so far in my life. It'd be great to do it with a great bunch of guys and hopefully again raise awareness for the wooden spoon. So uh, collectively we're trying to raise a minimum of 300,000 pounds. Very worthy cause. Yes, it'll be cold for us. Yes, it'll be difficult, but it's nowhere near as difficult as life is for the youngsters that we're trying to help. So. Uh, I think it's a great charity, it's the biggest event the Wooden Spoon's ever done. Hopefully we can take it to, to bigger heights. You should be able to do this, you're all young, healthy, not old, old. that means like me. You should be able to do this in two hours, right? Next, next I saw how much sand they're putting on that. I think they've put too much sand in the bag, if I'm honest. I was looking for something to do for my 40th year the next year and this for me was the ultimate way to just put my physical and mental challenge ahead of me whilst raising some fantastic funds for Spoon. Um, the good thing is my employer Quilt Achieve It Investment Management were on a similar guideline. They saw the opportunity and how wonderful it is for the community. They have a walk of, uh, could be up to eight days before we, we get to the pole and uh, then we're going to be playing this uh, amazing game of rugby do a great world record, all for wooden spoon and a great charity. Yeah, well, it's not everyone's cup of tea, you know, it's, it's pretty severe. We're going to be in temperatures, could be as low as, as minus 30 degrees. This is great training, but difficult, very, very difficult. They're all got the right state of mind, because once you get up there and you start underestimating what you're going to be taking on, and it doesn't matter whether you're Superman, that's when it catches you out. Oh no! <laughs> oh. <laughs> a few coins have dropped about how hard it's going to be. It's okay, you know, it's not that cold here. It's, you know, it's cold and windy, but it's not really freezing. So um, if that's just one day or half a day, what's it going to be like doing it for 10 uh, in proper snow? And So but I really, really enjoyed it. You know, two fantastic days. It, it starts to dawn on me that we're going off to the North Pole. Uh, lovely, lovely people, everyone's just mad. Uh, and uh, we're doing it for a great cause, so it's worthwhile. But yeah, two days, brilliant, down in Wales. Um, I haven't spent two days walking about, you know, for, for 10 years. I'm quite happy where I am, but I've got, you know, three months to really crank it up. Uh, and you don't want to be uh, going off to the North Pole, not ready. So it was, uh, yeah, we'll all be training hard, do a few social, you know, around, around the Six Nations. It's been a bit of an eye-opener for everybody. We now know the challenge that's coming up. A, a little bit of a taster if, if, uh, if Ogmore is, can, can be sort of equated to the North Pole. But I th yeah, I think everybody's ready, everybody's excited. It's January now, we're you know, leaving April 15th. That's getting closer and closer. And uh, yeah, the teams are starting together. I think everybody's starting to work as a cohesive unit. And yeah, we're going to need that because when we get to the North Pole, it's a, it's a whole different gravy. But uh, yeah, the, these weekends are what it's all about, a bit of team building and, uh, and it's been good fun.